it's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original powerbait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage-inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. These guys took the champion here at Nascimento in the opener of 2021, and we're hoping COVID's behind us. We're moving forward, and, you know, uh, we're doing social distancing. I'm staying away. Got my six-foot ruler on. <laughs> and these guys had a great day. Hey, and they caught over 13 pounds, which on Lake Nascimento is a good job because it's a spotted bass lake with the skip and a few largemouth involved but the largemouth weren't to play here the spots were i got the team of jay short and damon meeks you have a switch on that you can turn that on right there sir there you go how'd you guys catch your fish man you got now i'm gonna ask you that a different way i know you're gonna say the thing that everybody else is saying but you guys caught a little bit better average than everybody else there's something you're doing just a little bit different. And I've got kids, like the one behind you, wants to know what you're doing to catch that better than average fish. We just got lucky. <laughs> I mean, realistically, we got lucky. Um, My we, BS meter is going off. <laughs> um, you know, we fished a lot of community spots. We just happened to pull up at the right times and, you know, catch some good fish. Uh, the thing that we were doing different than Graham is we were fishing anywhere from the bank down to 27, 28 feet. Um, we would go through an area, catch some worm fish, turn around, throw a crankbait on there, and that did produce a couple of decent fish that we, I think one of the crankbait fish made the bag. Um, again, most of the fish were, you know, just on a worm. Didn't seem to matter what color. We were throwing a green pumpkin, um, a peanut butter and jelly, also threw some spade grass thing. The color didn't really seem to matter. It just seemed to matter putting the bait in front of the fish. Uh, one of the keys today though was definitely moving. We'd never caught more than maybe two or three fish off the same spot. You'd pull up, you'd get bit, you know, 15 minutes later, there's no need to be there anymore. The ones that we're gonna bite, we're gonna bite. So, and, and that's a really good tip because a lot of people, they'll go, there was one fish there, let's keep fishing it, keep fishing it. And you guys saying, nope, you gotta, change the water right now you know right now for us today we had to just keep moving anytime we would sit there for 10 15 minutes after we catch you know a couple fish we'd stop catching them so after you go five ten minutes without getting a bite it was time to move are the fish basically telling each other hey there's people up there don't bite anymore i think that they're so spread out as we said you know we caught them between the bank literally right on the bank in no inches of water or you're surprised you didn't see their back sticking out down to 28 feet so I think they're just so spread out right now. You just got to kind of get lucky and drop your bait on the right, you know, on a fish that wants to eat. And I know, and I don't know this lake like you guys, but the times that I've seen this lake, I've seen a lot of shad come out of the fish's mouth during weigh-in. Well, they're just regurgitating the, a lot of bait fish. But today I saw a lot of skinny, skinny fish, and I guess they're not finding the bait or the bait is not available. The bait's still there. Um, you get out in that 40, 50, 60 foot, and it's solid bait all over the lake. There's lots and lots of bait there. What we what we kind of keyed in on more areas where there'd be crawdads. In practice a couple weeks ago, we caught a couple fish that were puking up crawdads. And so we kind of keyed more on the rocky areas that are gonna hold crawdads. Um, I don't believe that we had a fish puke up a shad today. No. Yeah, I didn't see any, the fish were very thin. And uh, you know, the information you're given is pretty solid information. You got anything to add, little guy? No, that's pretty much it. Okay, anybody you want to thank? Uh, I just want to say get well soon, Chris and Jen. Miss you yeah. guys. You know, they run a great tournament. A little, little bummed that they couldn't be here. Thanks for stepping up, Brandy. That's really great that you, uh, you know, took, made that four-hour drive to come down here and run a tournament. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And I didn't get to duck hunt. <laughs> <laughs> not a problem my friend you know it's all about everybody checks with each other and that's what i like about the anglers of bbt you guys and the rest of the guys behind me and the gals uh, it is a good family atmosphere good people you guys and your people behind me 
always show up for each other at the award ceremony. Um, and I've said it countless times, the coastal region is one of the most solid regions I have with the participation on the anglers showing up and having everybody's back. And it's really cool to watch. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for these two people. Enjoying a day on the water, family and friends, Best Bass Tournaments is the place to be.